Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Long Beach State Dynasty. And we are coming to the end of season four here in this episode. It's been quite the journey here in this series. I want to thank all you guys for the support. When I started this series, I did not think it would have this type of turnout. It is officially the most viewed series on my channel. I just want to thank you guys for that. And now we hop into the later parts here in season number four. We're going to wrap up the regular season in this episode. And Long Beach just continues to dominate here in season four. This is honestly the most surprising season I've had in any one of my series. I did not expect this team to be this good, especially in kind of these simulation styles. You know, usually, you know, when we dominate series or we dominate seasons, it's usually because we're user control. But you can just see we are dominating even simulations. It's insane. So now let's hop into some games here at the end of the season. We have an opportunity to sweep Gonzaga. I can't pass that up. We're going to hop into this game. It's a 58-58 game here with six minutes to go. So here is Storm with the ball trying to get to the basket using Douglas Taylor this time, passing it outside to Monsetti, knocking down the three. How about the star that Monsetti has turned into? He's averaging 23 points a game, and he just hits every shot when he's just has a little bit of space he'll knock it down so now up to a five point lead after the jump shot from Macklin here is Gonzaga working it inside but deflected here is Macklin going the opposite way he is such a good shooter as well back out to Monsetti who's got a little bit of room and he just lets it fly Monsetti 8-0 run and now here we are 66-58 and there is a foul inside by Monsetti this time as Gonzaga does trim it down to six. Now in a six point game this time, working around the perimeter inside to Jitsu and another foul by Monsetti. And now it's a four point lead. James Quick checks into the game for Monsetti, working it to the corner. This is Jitsu, working it back around to Trek on the perimeter inside and it's another foul. This time it's an and one. And now Gonzaga is right back in this game. Vic Myers is on the free throw line. He only averages four points a game. And he knocks that one down. And now it is a one-point lead. So here we are inbound the ball this time. But Storm gets ripped. But nice defense that time by Macklin. And now it is a one-point lead still. As here's Macklin up in transition. He is open. And he hits the three. It's now a four-point game here. A minute and a half to go. Here's Gonzaga working inside. And Monsetti picks up his fourth foul. He could be fouled out with one more foul. Is now it's a two-point game. Monsetti trying to handle the ball. He gets ripped, though. Here's Myers the other way in transition. It is going to be an and one. They call that a foul on Storm. And now Myers has a chance to take the lead here with a minute to go, and it's good. Gonzaga has the one-point lead here, and now we have possession. Here we are working it inside. This time, it's William Caesar. He gives us the one-point lead here with 34 seconds left. And now here is Vic Myers dribbling up the court once again. He gets to the lane, and another foul. William Caesar this time. How many times has Myers been on the line here in the last three minutes? As his first free throw is knocked through, 71-71. This next one could take the lead. And with 31 seconds left, Gonzaga has the one-point lead. So we might hold for the last shot, but we're looking for the best shot. Maybe not the last shot. Getting a pick this time from Macklin. Monsetti finds his spot, and he hits it. It's a 74-72 game. And now 14 seconds left. Gonzaga now has the last possession. Let's see what they do. They do give it to Kamu Franks on the outside. Let's see what he does. He gets to the paint. He backs back out. We don't want him to take that three, though, so we move out with Storm. But he takes a shot from the lane and hits it as the buzzer goes off. 74-74. This one's going to overtime. And let's see if we can complete the sweep of Gonzaga here in overtime as we win the tip out to Macklin for a quick three. And that's a great shot, quick trigger from Macklin. And now it's 77-74. But here's Trake on the inside. This time, a little floater over the top of Douglas Taylor, one of the best defenders in the uh, West Coast Conference. And now with the one-point lead, working it to the perimeter. Monsetti 
I mean, I have no words for that kid. He hits everything. And now here we are with the four-point lead. Caesar getting double teamed. Out to Monsetti again, and it's good. You just can't leave uh, Tony Monsetti open. I mean, he's going to hit it every single time. And now what's up to an 83-76 game? Let's see if they double team William Caesar in the post. We give it back out to Monsetti. Working it around. And Douglas Taylor throws it down. Now a nine-point lead. Two minutes to go. Now here we are, 85-76. Here's Storm. Pick and roll. Getting to the bucket. Too much offense for Gonzaga here in overtime. And now they just jack up one last shot. Down by 80. Rebounded by Kayshawn Cooper. And that will do it. 90 to 82 ends up being the finals and the final score. We end up sweeping them here in the regular season. There is no way they will get a top two seed now. And how about this Long Beach team? We've come a long way. Gonzaga was straight destroying us in sim situations. And now look at us. I mean, we beat them in overtime nonetheless, but by almost double digits. And we just are just a crazy good this year. I don't know what it is. But this team is just magical. I don't know what's happened in the offseason. Maybe it was the upgrading of the facility. But this team is now making good teams look bad. I mean, that is just insane to me. Pierre Trek at 23. Jitsu also at 23. But our big men get it done as well, locking them up. And we end up 20 wins in. 20 and 2 for the first time. Our first 20 win season. And we are pretty much projected to if not win the conference have an at large bid to the ncaa tournament how about that here in this season number four so now we want to continue conference play now going up against portland a team that we haven't really faced too often here in this series so far but i do want to play these guys and see what they got because now it's a 51 51 game with eight minutes to go but here Portland takes the lead here, seven minutes to go now. Is let's see if we can close out this game on the road. Here is Storm with a pick. He just picks his spot and shoots it. It's good, 54 to 53 now. And now here is Storm once again, handling the ball, working it inside, back around. Douglas Taylor, easy pass inside to Taylor. He gets it to go. It's now up to a four point lead. But here is Portland. They're not going away easy. There's a nice bucket with contact. And now it's 59 to 57. Their leading scorer is Justin Thompson Jr. He takes the three. And that one gives Portland the one point lead. And now we fast forward to two minutes left. Portland has the two point lead now. Could they break this streak we've got going here as Brian Quick gets the rebound off of a miss? He goes all the way to the lane and gets fouled. Malik Moore on the contact. And James Quick will go to the line. He's shooting 75% from the line this year. 8.6 points per game in his freshman season. And the first shot is good. And the second shot is up. And it will tie this game up at 64 apiece. And now we get it under a minute to go. So here is Portland this time working it around. Inside, Justin Thompson Jr. He gets it to go 66 to 64. 30 seconds left now. Here is Storm getting the pick, getting to the lane. He passes it out, and look who's open. Monsetti knocks it down, ice cold in his veins, 21 seconds, and Portland calls the timeout, and let's see what happens here at the end of the game. But of course, the game freezes. And in one of the interesting games of the year, to be honest, too, a Portland team who really isn't that good actually put up a pretty good fight versus us. So we will just go back and do the game cast. And honestly, if I spend that much time playing a game, I'm not going to go back and, you know, play it all over again. Because look at this. In the sim, we ended up beating them at 40. I mean, that, that is just a big difference. Portland just had a very good game. They caught us maybe on an off night or maybe they had a great game. But we ended up winning by 40 in the, I guess, re-simulation of that game. So next we go up against Pepperdine, and I honestly don't want to play this game because I have a feeling that if we make the conference championship, we're going to face Pepperdine. I want it to be no spoilers going into that game. I want to be surprised by who's going to be killing. I don't want any preview. I want to go in there just mano y mano, see what Pepperdine's got. They upset us, I guess, in that game, 
and they actually move up but they actually stay at the number two spot in the conference because we already beat them head to head so we actually are still number one in the conference and now we wrap up a, other, a couple of other conference games here going up against Santa Clara. We de absolutely destroy them by almost 50, 103 to 56, 56 rebounds to their 23 in that game. And then with two games left, we have San Diego. And next we will play up against Loyola Marymount. And I want to finish out this uh, season against Mo Loyola Marymount because I want some momentum going into the conference tournament. And this is a big game because we're playing up against Carlton Bigby, who is the all-time leading point scorer in West Coast Conference history. So this is a big game for him. This is his last regular season game, and they are at home. But you can just see we are destroying them here in this game. It's 62 to 46. But I want to hop into this game, create some momentum, like I said, see what we got here going into the conference tourney. And if we win this game, we lock up the number one seed as well. So here we are hopping into the action. Here's Monsetti getting us going with nine minutes left. Corner three. How about Tony Monsetti? Throw up the M's for Monsetti in the chat. And here is Carlton Bigby, the all-time leading scorer in the West Coast Conference, not by averages, but by total points. He's averaged 27 points per game the last three seasons. So here's Loyola getting the bucket that time after a block shot from Douglas Taylor. And now it's a 14-point game. And here's Taylor with some good defense this time, rebounding, passing it up court to Monsetti. Monsetti just kind of takes his time and just pulls. It's good. 75 to 58. Long Beach with a big lead. Four and a half minutes left. Just a good way to finish this season. But Loyola does hit a three that time. But I love what I see from Long Beach. We have just hurt teams from everywhere. We don't just shoot outside threes. I mean, we can go inside. Monsetti is pretty good at getting to the basket. Maybe not as good as James Quick. But even our big men, Douglas Taylor, gets it done inside. Tariq Macklin does it from outside. William Caesar does it from inside as well. I mean, we are just a versatile team, and that's what's brought us all the way here. And now with the 15-point game, now we're looking to close out the season. Storm just puts that man on skates. Open shot. Douglas Taylor knocks it down. How about Douglas Taylor getting involved with the three-point shooting? That's his first three-pointer of the season. Here is Storm. Another three-point shot from the logo for him. Just call him Logo Storm. And now 87 to 69. One and a half minutes to go. Loyola Marymount one last time passes it up to Carlton Bigby. And these will be his last points of the regular season of his career. As one more time here with a minute left. Missed shot opportunity. Storm pushes it up the court. Working it back to Monsetti. Monsetti pump fake, freezing the defender, gets the lane. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Monsetti doesn't just hit outside shots. He is so good at getting to the lane as well. And that's how this season ends. 89 to 70 here. One more time for Monsetti. He's just going to pull. He's just having fun out there. Up by 22 in this game. Ends up being a 19-point victory. And what a way to end this season. Tony Monsetti went on a tear here. 35 points in this game. Seven rebounds. Carlton Bigby had 29 of his own. And what a magical season it's been. We finished the season 27-3. and three, And we just absolutely dominate. And even our losses. I mean, there was no bad losses this season as well. And even if we didn't get this number one seed in the conference tournament, we would have an at-large bid. I mean, we are that good of a team. We could be the scariest team in this tournament the way we are playing here in the regular season. Big B had 29 to end his career. And Isaiah Robinson, who's actually been a starter for Loyola Marymount, he had 19 points and 11 assists. Also, his last game of his regular season career. So we're 13 and one in conference. Our only loss comes against Pepperdine. They end up 12 and two in conference. So they end up with the number two seed. Gonzaga is the number three seed. I think that's the first time that Gonzaga has not been a top two seed in this conference, probably in the last like 20 years, to be honest. They are always very good. So with this season, I figure that we might have some All-Americans and we don't have any first team or second teamers. But Douglas Taylor makes an all-freshman first team All-American. 
averaging 7.1, 10.4 rebounds, one steal, and 2.5 blocks. I mean, Douglas Taylor is probably the most underrated guy on this squad. So good defensively. Gets so many rebounds with outlet passes, which lead to transition points. I mean, he is so good. And also, uh, it looks like Carlton Bigby may have got honored with an All-American award. I'm not really sure. But he did win all first team uh, for West Coast. And look at second team. We did not have any first teamers. Monsetti, Macklin, and Storm all make second team all-conference. I believe this is the first time we've ever had any player on the all-conference team. I think Storm may have made it one year in the Big West, but not in the West Coast Conference. And then Douglas Taylor ends up being a second team defensive uh, player on the first team. And then it looks like second team we have three guys so i mean we have a ton of guys getting all conference honors now and that's pretty good uh and then looking at the all freshman team in conference we almost sweep i mean if it wasn't for uh macklin who is a shooting guard and who is not a freshman we could have probably had a freshman there that would have swept this uh these honors here for first team Cooper, Taylor, Quick, and Workman all get first team honors. I'm actually surprised that Workman didn't. He only averaged two points and three and a half assists, but he was very good. But hey, I'll take it. And then second team, we didn't have anybody, but what a season it was for this Long Beach team. Frankie Thomas actually takes home player of the year in the conference. Bigby did not win it. He's already won two of them, and he, did, he finished second this season. But average 27 points a game three straight years. That is just an amazing career. Monsetti actually finished fifth in the voting. That's actually very surprising because he did not finish as a first-team all-conference player, but he finished fifth in player of the year. But that's how it goes. So for the first time, we literally have two buys in the conference tournament. We will have to await either St. Mary's, looks like San Diego, or Loyola Marymount. So we can face Loyola Marymount for the second time here once again in back-to-back -back games we'll have to see they're the number four seed i'm happy to see how good Lo loyola marymount is because we do need a fourth team in this conference for some competition and they were pretty good carlton bigby is going to be leaving so they might take a pretty big dip to be honest so we'll have to see how it goes for them so next episode will be the entire conference tournament i want to get that all done in one episode since it's only two games max that we can play so we'll have to see so hit subscribe, hit that like button. Can't wait to see if we finally clinch the West Coast Conference Championship. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah. Started from the mud, now you see us going up. Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up. People used to front, now you see them showing up. So what's up? I've been down and now below. Keep it a buck, I don't... Always been one up on all of these. They be trying to front for all of these.